start with in this box is the Real Her palette. Now, I will insert some clips of the products that I use um, throughout the video. So, this is the Real Her palette. I did pick this, and the reason, the only reason why I picked this palette, you guys, was because I've tried the Real Her um, lipsticks or lip balms or whatever it was. I believe that I have received a couple of products from her. I know I have received a couple of products from the Real Her brand. And I absolutely love them. So I'm like, let me try this eyeshadow palette. And it was a no for me. It was definitely a no for me. I've dug off into this palette like three or four different times, you guys. And I, at first I thought it was the eye base because I had a different eyeshadow base that I was using. And then I'm like, I tried the, uh, the same eyeshadow base that I continuously use. And it's, it, that was, it was just, it was a no. Let me slow down. First, I thought it was the eyeshadow base because I had tried a different eyeshadow base. So I'm like, okay, let me take it off and let me go back to the regular eyeshadow base that I use for my eyeshadows. It's definitely this palette. Again, um, they got a lot of kick up in the pan. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. The way that it went on, it was just, it was kind of uh, patchy and, and scattered a little bit. Uh, just tacky to me. Again, I didn't I didn't like it. I preferred uh the colors were beautiful. The colors were beautiful. It it swatched pretty, but it's to me it's kind of chalky, okay? And y'all keep in mind I am not an MUA or nothing like that. I have this is these are my opinions from putting on a shadow and I don't have this. As a matter of fact, I had a little bit of this on and then I had to use a different palette to continue with the look because I couldn't continue with the look for this particular makeup that I have on today. The one that you'll be seeing in the video, I did end up finishing it, but it just, it wasn't looking right. But the pigment is there, okay? The pigments are there. Well, that's the shimmery shade. The matte shades seem, I'm going into this color right here. The matte shades seem a little bit chalky to me. I'm gonna go in with this one right here to me. And it just didn't, it didn't go on like I wanted it to. It just was a no. It's a little chalky for me. And it just didn't go on right. Again, the colors were pretty, but it's just a no. It's a, I, I don't think I'll be dipping off into this palette. I don't think I'll be dipping off, dipping off into this palette anytime soon. It's just a, it's just a no for me. So there's the shades. Again, it was a little chalky. I, it just didn't, it was just a no. It was just a no and that's okay. It was a no and that's okay. This palette is going for $28, I do believe. Yeah, this is going for $28. I just had big, 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 big expectations of this palette. And this is the Real Her Dream So, yeah, Dream So Big palette. The next item is the Seraphine Botanicals. And that is going for $48. So this is the Seraphine Botanicals Happy Hibiscus palette right here. And this says that, the, it says this incredible soft and, and blendable luminizer and blush palette gives you an instant color payoff. Now, this was a no. As far as like me using it as a blush,
was just too, I don't like, it, this was chalky as well, but I don't like blushes that are, um, what do you call those type of blushes that had a, had a highlighter in there? I don't like luminizing blushes. I don't like my blush to look like a highlight. I don't, I just rather not. But the highlight was okay. It wasn't, the highlight was okay. It wasn't bad. I'm using this right here, this shade right here. It was okay. I mean, it definitely, I, I, if I would, if I would use this palette, it would definitely be, um, if I was to use this palette, it would definitely only be for a highlight and that would be about it. But it was, it was okay for me. It was just, it was just okay. Okay. It was just okay. It wasn't, which one? Okay. Did I use that one? Yep. It was just, I don't know if I did that one. Let me, it was just okay. Same chalky to me, but it was okay. Or maybe they maybe they're not just going with my skin tone either because you have to think just because I don't know some colors that look like they might be um beautiful on the skin and then it depends on the, the color of the skin too. So I don't know. This was just it was a no for me. Again, I use it for a highlighter and that would be about it. So this is a no. Okay. The next item in the box is this Man Eater Plumping Gloss. And this is one for $19. Now, I didn't take this out the package only because I I have one already that I got a couple, some months back, I want to say, um, in my box already. And I did enjoy this and I loved it. Um, as far as the plumping, I didn't notice any plumping of the lips for me, but it was still a beautiful color and I did feel a little tingling with it. But uh, this is that. And again, this is one for $19. This was okay. The next item in the box is the Tint Beauty. And um, it says Tinted Hydrating Tinted Eye Cream. Now, with this right here, I did try this. And I definitely, I really, really enjoyed this. If I wanted to go a day with no makeup and just put this underneath my eyes and kind of do a little other couple things, but it, it made the under, it made my under eye look refreshing. It woke my under eyes up. so. And it had a glow to it as well. So I definitely enjoyed this. I love this. right here is going for $24. This was absolute, I loved it. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here so you guys can see it. That was a bit much. That was a bit much. But yeah, anywho, it did one that's on the thighs. It did wake the eyes up, so I enjoyed that. Actually, this was like one of the best items in the damn box. So the last item in the box is the Mellow Cosmetic Gel Lip Liner, and this is one for fifteen dollars. Um, they say that okay, this gel formulated gel lip pencil glides on fluidly and adheres instantly with a matte finish. 
Define your lips with an instant release of rich saturated color, long wearing and transfer proof, cruelty free, paraben free and vegan. And again, this is $15. So I think I have a clip of this as well. This was okay, not my shade. As you, it's still right here from yesterday when I um, tried it and I didn't wash my ass and everything and it still ain't came off. But I mean, so it's really, it's definitely transfer free, okay? Definitely that, but it's a pretty color, but it's just not, not for me, not my shade. So this is that. The box was trash. The box was, um, no, that box, I'm going to say it like this. Y'all, box could have kept this box. For the month of December, the base box, y'all definitely could have kept that box. I'm definitely, definitely wasn't feeling it. I think my favorite product in that box was definitely the Tint Beauty Hydrating Tinted Eye Cream. <laughs> and and that's a damn shame when I get a makeup box and I said the best thing in the box was a tinted, a tinted um, eye cream. Eye cream out of five products that was, and the Man Eater top, uh, the Man Eater lip gloss, or the, the lip gloss was okay, but of course I already have that, so I'm not happy about that. But the best thing in the box is the Tint Beauty uh, Tinted Hydrated Eye Cream. And y'all, uh, eye cream? That's the best thing in the box is eye cream. We got a problem. So that box was trash. I would throw, for the month of December 2021, Boxy Charms Base Box for me, in my opinion, was straight trash, okay? So it's a no to the hibiscus palette. It's a no to the Real Hurt palette. It's a no to the gel lip liner and basically i get two products so it's kind of, it's a gamble it's, it's definitely a gamble and i feel like they reel you in you know it's definitely uh they reel you in they show you all these beautiful products because i'm gonna tell y'all something i you know i've canceled and picked back up and i'm like nope i'm not doing it this month and then i say yep i'm gonna buy it and then i'm like nope i i, I play tug of war i feel like there's months where i feel like you know what i'm not I'm not getting this box, and I'm and, and, and I'm not getting that box, or I'm not getting it, or I'm gonna get it next month, or I. It's a gamble because at the end of the day, and, and the crazy thing is, yes, 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 you typically nine times out of ten, you're typically going to get your money's worth. Period. I don't care what anybody says. With these boxes, you're definitely gonna you're gonna get your money's worth. The items in the makeup boxes that we receive, nine times out of 10, you're gonna find there's gonna be a product or two or three in there that is going to exceed the value of the box. So it might not be what you want, it might not be what you ask for, but typically, like I said, you're definitely gonna get your money's worth. The problem comes in that is, are you going to get what you want? You know what I mean? So. Again, it's a gamble, you know what I mean? It's a gamble, and that's how I look at it. So, I feel like I took an L, but it's okay. Um, it is what it is. And again, I did enjoy the tint. Uh, Beauty Tinted uh, Hydrating Eye Cream, and that was $24. And then the box is $25, so, I mean, so that paid for the box itself. So even if I did just like that one item right there, it's okay. You know what I mean? So so that is it for this video, you guys. Let me know what y'all think down below about those items. And let me know what you got in your base box for the month of, month of December. And even if you didn't get a box, let me know, have you tried those products? Am I tripping on the Real Hair Palette? And what is it? Tripping on the Real Hair Palette. Did you guys enjoy it? If you did have, if you did get it. And this Seraphine Botanicals Happy Hibiscus right here. Again, like I said, I can use it as a highlighter, but I have highlighters that I like already, especially since I received the Ofra highlighter. I'm definitely not gonna be using any other highlighters that I can help it because that right there is the bomb. So this is the two that was definitely a no. And I wanted to like this so, so bad. I actually wanted to like both of them, but it is what it is. So that is it for this video, guys. Let me know what y'all think down below. Let me know if y'all received these products and what you think about them. Or have you seen anybody else use them and did they like them? So, that is it. Please like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. And I will see you guys in my next video. If I forgot anything, 
please turn to the game and not my heart. I thank y'all so much. I do, I do, I do. I thank y'all so very much. And that is it. I will see you guys in my next video. I am Eagle Trippin'. And I'm out. Bye, y'all.